Just like the physical body can be shaped with certain types of exercises, the brain and the nervous system are shaped by the past experiences of your life. Your life story gets written into your neurological architecture, especially in the times when stress arousal is the highest. Your brain and your nervous system are not passive receivers of information, they're always reshaping themselves depending on what they learn through your relationships and your environment. A single nerve cell, which is called a neuron, will maintain a chemical history of the events that it has dealt with. Each neuron has about 5,000 spines on its tail, and this allows it to connect with other neurons, forming a unique pattern of connection. Some connections will be inhibited, some will be excited, depending on what you experience throughout your life. This web and the way that it communicates is your unique neuromatrix and it's what determines how you will respond to future stresses. Certain defensive strategies can get imprinted into the survival brain and also the nervous system in times of previous chronic or traumatic stress. This can create connections that are hypersensitized. It may become the automatic pathway that the brain and the nervous system take today whenever you're facing stresses, despite what the context is. And of course, this dramatically limits your potential. It could be reacting with prolonged anxiety or anger whenever you experience some conflict. It could be that you freeze or shut down whenever you need to make a hard decision. Or you could experience a strong fear of abandonment whenever you feel ignored by someone. We can become stuck in these limited programming loops, inflexibly choosing only one or two defensive strategies whenever we're facing a stress whether or not they match appropriately. In your past, if your brain and your nervous system learnt to respond in this way, it's likely to be the way that they'll respond again if they haven't learned something new. In a pinhead size speck of brain tissue, there are over 350 million neurons. And thanks to neuroplasticity, we know that we can change those connections that the neurons have and we will respond differently when it comes to stress. Your neuromatrix and the way that your brain and nervous system respond under stress is not who you are. It's simply what's been learned from the environments that you are in and the people that you are around. What you experience today will actively influence these connections because we know that they're always in a state of change. There is phenomenal possibility in the coding of these neurons and the possible connections that we can have. Your responses to stress are a result of this coding as well as the physical sensations, the emotions, and the thoughts that come along when you get triggered. And just like you can use physical exercise to change the body, to strengthen other areas, you can do the same with the brain and nervous system using neural exercises. This leads to an increase in our self-regulation when we face difficult times and challenges. It builds resilience and it helps us to respond to situations with greater flexibility rather than having these limited programming loops. There can be room for both the past adversities and a present moment with new possibilities. If you'd like to learn more about reshaping the nervous system, I'll pop the details below on how you can get started with learning. Thanks so much.